well the start of today's stage and there we can see Mathieu van der Poel whose grandfather did an amazing fight with Jacques Ancatel in the place of today's finish at Puy Dijon. This is Jonas Vingegaard, today's big favorite for stage victory. Yeah. Will it be another famous fight with Tadej Pogacar today? That's the question. We hope so. Today it's very hard from the point of view of energy, of putting energy into my body because the first 100 kilometers are in the middle of nowhere. There is some national park or something like this and it's Sunday so this is the combination which I don't want. So every time in, a, in some village or small town when I see the bar or coffee or something like this I immediately need to go inside and buy anything so this is one of this place and the water is problem I already third time I already was asking people uh, by the by the road uh, here it is Bonjour. well this is the right place I, which I met my pancake is already preparing and the pancake with sauce pancake with sausage that's what I need and also a coke I'm probably in the middle of the stage very hot day and I'm still not sure if I'm gonna do Puy de Dome today or tomorrow very early morning I feel good pretty good and when the sun when the sun goes down I'm gonna be in much more better feelings but I will decide in Claremont Ferrand. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <Go>. Messi. <laughs> so the decision is to do Puy de Dome tomorrow morning. That's gonna be better, definitely. Then now, uh, it's very late now and I feel pretty tired. Um, to be honest, today's stage was hard even without Puy de Dome. 200 kilometers and nearly 3,000 of meters of elevation so that's pretty tough in that heat I drank I don't know about six liters of water maybe maybe more and it was pretty hard pretty hard so I'll put it on tomorrow morning that's definitely gonna be the better way how to climb it Good night. Puy de Dome, more than 12 kilometers in 7%. We are interested in last four Ks, mainly. Unfortunately, this is something what I was a little bit afraid of, but I hope it's not gonna be a problem, but it is a problem. The entrance is forbidden, even for for tourists without bike, also for bike, and this is impossible to go. I don't feel so bad because uh, in general on this Tour de France I'm gonna have uh, much more, not much more, but just the more um, meters of elevation and more kilometers um, overall, so that's the reality, that's something what I'm not gonna influence. So go back to Clairbon Ferrand and have a free day.
Have a rest day.